Welcome back to Career Build Series. This is episode number 100, and so we're back here at the oil drilling rig. So we're currently pumping and filling, and so I went ahead and brought the road train tractor and a couple trailers over here. They're currently full. The lead is full of diesel. The kite is full of jet fuel. And so the system here is pumping and refining as we speak. So uh, live stream a little while ago, I went ahead and started a new save. I uh, needed to do that for the new oil spill content, plus when Clark Air Base lost its collision so you could fall through the runway and the taxiway. Need to start a new save there. Uh, starting the new save only took me about 10 minutes to get everything set up. I went around, bought all the islands again, used the same seed, and then I went in the XML and changed the money so we're presently back to where we were money-wise. But we're currently very low on fuel throughout all the bases, so we need to go ahead and get some fuel moved. So, went ahead and set up the tractor and trailer here. So, we have lots and lots of diesel. We have lots and lots of jet fuel. And so, this is going to make it nice and easy for us to be able to supply those bases. As we go to different bases for missions and whatnot, we're going to be able to, you know, ferry some of that fuel across. So, that's very helpful. All right, and we're up and running here. We have our dog friend with us. And let's go ahead and get moving here. Right, here we are pulling into FJ so we're just going to be able to go right in and I can despawn this and get all the fuel. I generally recommend a precautionary save when you're going to just despawn like this. Last thing you want to do is spend all that time pumping fuel and then lose it. So what we'll do here is I will go ahead and park and what I'll do is a quick save. Alright and we'll grab our doge. Need to open the door first. Grab our doge here. And Doggy can go in to this room here. We'll just keep it safe. I don't want the dog getting hurt. All right, and so that is saved, and we should look at our fuel. So we have 787 liters of diesel. We have 2142 liters of jet. Let's go ahead and despawn, and let's see where we're at now. So we have uh, 57,000 liters of jet fuel now, and we have 57,000 liters of diesel. So 
that's uh, getting us back in where we can. So this is good cash money in case we need to actually go sell it. And we'll also be able to ferry it around. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have a small speedboat, requires servicing. And that's 8400 And that's a long, a long way. One thing that would actually kind of be neat is some of these boats are pretty small. This might be a neat project at some point to do is currently, you know, we can use the tugboat. Tugboat does about 10 knots. Uh, it's a little bit faster than that when we're actually cruising. We're not towing something. But you figure that's probably at least, you know, it's, it, we're getting probably 35 minutes, 40 minutes to get up there and back. It'd be kind of neat to make a one of those ships that you can actually sink the ship and put a boat on the back. So that could be a cool project in the future. Uh, currently don't want to do that mission, though. That doesn't really... Uh, Tickle my fancy, but what I think we'll do here is let's go ahead and we need to move some fuel around. So if we highlight the bases we have here, if we look here, we have, it shows right there the diesel we have in there and the jet fuel we have. I actually need to buy some of these bases back. We should own some of these and we don't. So I need to go around and do that. So let's look at our money, 402-509. I will get back with you guys once I've bought the bases because I forgot to buy some of the bases that we should have already. All right, so I went ahead and fixed that, bought all the bases that we should have had. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just teleport around, buy all the bases, and then oh, you just go back in the XML and you can fix the money. So that's all I did. I went ahead, slept in the bed, and advanced time a little bit. So now if we look here, we have good, we have good fuel, good jet, and good diesel here. So what I think I'm going to do is this. I went ahead and I made the jet fuel uh, pallet for moving jet fuel and what I think I'm going to do is I kind of want to play with my my turboprop uh, cargo plane the donkey and what I want to do is uh, I think I'm going to load in a diesel pallet full of diesel and we have a mission up here if we look it is a hangar on fire so pretty standard mission there to put the fire out and there might be rescues and so this base is pretty cheap. It's 30 grand. We have a good bit of cash. I'd like to buy this base. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll load up the diesel pallet at FJ. And we'll fly up here and we'll put some of the jet fuel from our wings into the base. And we'll put all that diesel into the base. And then this base will have some diesel and jet in there. And then we can uh, further ferry or do something else, depending on what the missions pop up. So let's go ahead and get ready for that. So let's go ahead and grab this plane. I built this a little while ago. I enjoyed building it and haven't had an opportunity to use it much. So let's see if I can find it. So I don't think I called it the... I think I just called it stall. But uh, it is the... Uh, it is a donkey now. Let's see. So I need my pallet. So let's go ahead and grab the pallet. All right, so here's the diesel pallet. Uh, just want to make sure this is all set and has everything it needs. I did a couple iterations, so I want to make sure that this has everything it needs. Okay, so this should be good. So let's go ahead and we'll put this on the ground. All right, and let's spawn everything here. All right, so that should be full of jet fuel. And I don't know if this spawn with diesel. Generally, I don't like to spawn them because they become quite heavy. So as you can see, it doesn't spawn with it. It's better to fill it inside of the craft than it is to spawn it with it in there. And so it'll take me a second to try to remember how to operate this sucker. How do I operate this uh, rear ramp? I cannot even remember. Winch in, toggle button, maybe that. Nope. Uh, what's that? Service panel. There we go. Okay, so I have to I have to label some of that stuff. Is not well labeled. Uh, rope. Uh, I have to come in from the side because there's actually a collision under the stairs there. So we'll go ahead and we'll hook that up and we can drag this in. And I think we need power to do that. So let's go ahead and we will go master power, uh, battery A, and that should power up the system. Let's go ahead and start. You winch, were you working winch? Uh, let's see. Okay, that's not working. Let's see what I need here. Uh, battery B, ground power, beacon, let's see, what's up with this? Why is this not working? Don't, okay, that's still the door. I need to label that. All right, something's broken. Let's figure it out here. We might as well, while we're at it. All right, probably electrical issue right there, not connected. So heater can go right to there. 
and that will fix that. So let's go ahead and s uh, I won't save this now. I'll just fix it later because I'll have to re uh, despawn the pallet. So that is uh, ramp. So we can do ramp from the outside. All right, let's go ahead and try this again. So I have to go from the side to get the rope to work. Hopefully in the next game the ropes are more physicalized and they interact with things. Uh, let's go ahead and drag this in. There we go. So it's just an electrical connection. So before this gets all screwed up here, oh, I forgot that's on toggle. I can push this. The other nice thing is when this is empty and it does not have fuel in it, as you can see, it's reasonably easy for me to push it around. One of the reasons why I don't fill this first and have it spawn is, oh, come on, man. It's like... He jumps like a million miles here. There we go. Um, you know, it, it, it's nice and light. I can manipulate it with my player character. There we go. And so we'll drag this in. We'll grab the tracks at some point. There we go. And we're good right there. Stop that before I get crushed to death. And we'll actually let that out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's good right there. And then I have a break right here, so we'll lock the pallet. That works pretty well. Let's go ahead, and this is going to be full of diesel. So we'll pump out, and we'll now fill it with diesel. That will, uh, you know, we can put the weight in there now. So that's filling. Let's go ahead, and we can check the meter here. So that's filling up nicely. So 2,200 liters there, so not too shabby for that. All right, so that is up. What is that service panel, as you can see, for refueling the craft itself and for ground power? So this is my turbo prop stall. If you haven't seen this, it's uh, named the donkey. So it has my donkey picture on there. This should be pretty close to being full, I'd imagine. It, it fills pretty fast. And so this way we'll have a little bit of diesel up here, and we'll have some jet fuel there. And I'll get back to you guys when this is full. All right, so that is now full. Didn't take very long. Only took about another minute from when I uh, left you guys. And let's go ahead and stick this back there. All right, so we're good to go now. We can head out. And we'll go ahead and we'll head up to that base. And uh, do we have a fire extinguisher here? I don't know if we do or not. Ugh. I think, yep, yeah, right there. Okay, we do. I, you know, I haven't played with this uh, craft in a while. I keep falling out and overdoing my jumps here. There we go. All right, let's get getting here. Uh, mass power, ground power. Uh, nope, not ground power. Battery A, B, beacon. Did I turn infant electricity on? I did not. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. That is set. Battery A, B, ground, uh, mass power is on. We want to go through. We're going to do a full flow here. So fuel, we have 6,000 pounds aside. That's on. Let's go ahead and we want to do fuel cutoff for one. Start one. Why the hell aren't you starting? There we go, it is. Just very quiet with the uh, headset on. Fuel cutoff too. You want to start one engine at a time IRL, especially because you uh, you want to monitor the engine so you don't get a hung start. That's up and running. Gen 2's coming on. I don't think I have hydros on here. Hydraulics on here. All right, flaps are set to one. Let's go ahead and uh, park and brake. Where are you at on this one? Right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and taxi out. What's my tail number? See, DC is for donkey cargo. Uh, donkey cargo. We're looking to pick up our clearance to the... I don't know what that airport's called. Let me see. It had a name when I saw the mission. Let's see what it's called. Uh, let's see. Katiak. Uh, Donkey Cargo 1, we're looking to uh, pick up our clearance to Katiak. Uh, Donkey Cargo 1, Squawk Guy 0123, you're cleared to the Katiak Airport via radar vectors. O'Neill, direct to uh, Katiak. Uh, do you have information? Echo? We have Echo. Uh, you can contact Ground 219. 219, thanks. Uh, Donkey Cargo, we're ready to taxi. We can take an intersection. Uh, Donkey Cargo, you can taxi straight ahead and expect runway 7. Uh, straight ahead, runway 7, uh, Donkey Cargo. And you can contact uh, Tower on 20.7, uh, 20.7, uh, Donkey Cargo. All right, I think we're ready. Uh, Donkey Cargo, we're ready to take off uh, Romy 7. 
Uh, you are cleared up to uh, 2,000, maintain runway heading, and you're clear for takeoff, uh, donkey cargo. Uh, clear for takeoff, runway 7, donkey cargo, thanks. Alright, here we go. Airspeed's alive. V1, rotate. Flaps are coming up. And it's trying to bring the prop back. The dunk guard, you can uh, make a left turn to a heading of 360. Left turn 360, dunk cargo. I didn't turn on my lights there, but we'll do it now. Dunk cargo, you can t contact March on 126.7. Ah, uh, 126.7, dunk cargo, thanks. Uh, dunk cargo, we are 2007. Uh, dot cargo, radar contact, you can climb, maintain 5,000 feet, and head direct O'Neill. 5,000 direct O'Neill, dot cargo. All right. Let's go 5,000. I'll do altitude hold, and then I'll stick in O'Neill. And we'll stick that in. Nav, GPS. All right. So we're on, GP, on autopilot there. And we'll go ahead and bring the prop back some. And I'll go ahead and time lapse you guys out. Alright, here we go, coming back. Uh, we're looking, as you can see, you can see the island right over there, so we're visual on the island. Uh, Dunk Cargo 1, uh, do you have the field site? Uh, Dunk Cargo 1, we have the field site. Uh, you are cleared the approach into runway. Uh, cleared the approach from runway, uh, Dunk Cargo 1. Do you have information? Foxtrot? We have Foxtrot, thanks. And uh, when you say you have like information Foxtrot, you have something called ATIS. It's the um, it's a it's a radio frequency you you put in and it has a recorded message. They record it every hour unless there's something special like as, unless there's a big weather change or something, and it will read out the weather and code it and it'll tell you uh, wind direction, what runways in use, any notums notices to airmen that are you know pertinent like runway closures or if you have a tall crane or stuff like that. So it's just uh, airport information. Uh, donkey Cargo, you can uh, switch over to tower on 120.7. 120.7, Donkey Cargo 1, thanks. Uh, donkey Cargo 1, we're inbound, runway, uh, visual. Uh, donkey Cargo 1, you're clear to land. Clear to land, Donkey Cargo 1. All right, we are clear to land, so let's get set up for landing here. So flaps are coming in. Oh, I shouldn't have put flaps in yet. But let's go ahead and put prop full forward. I'm already bringing the power back, too. So props coming in, power's coming back. Slow down way too fast there. There we go. I'm uh, getting a little bit slow there. Let's go ahead and crank in some flap. 
All right, so a visual for the uh, runway here. Yeah, maybe to trim a little bit. My trim's off. And this is a short takeoff and landing plane, so we can uh, stop pretty quickly. Plus, we have uh, the ability to go into uh, beta and reverse, so that is helpful. All right, we're short final. Uh, landing checklist, uh, flaps are set, prop is set, landing checklist complete. I see another nice plane that gets down like around 70 knots. You know, 70, 80 knots is a good approach speed for a short takeoff and landing plane. And there's the fire. And we should be in reverse now. We're in reverse. Uh, light's not working. So, up oh, there's beta. Okay, there's reverse. All right. So I I didn't hit the brakes at all on that one. I just uh, let's go into beta here really quick. We're still rolling forward, so I don't need it. Let's see. I don't know if I put in. I didn't put in uh, differential braking, but I don't really need it. This can turn tight enough. You can actually tap the brakes in re in game and in real life to kind of turn a little bit tighter if you need to. See, we have plenty of space. It looks like because the nose and the way you sit low in the cockpit, it looks like we're right on the end of the runway. We're not. We have a good distance. It's best if you actually look to your side. And so if you look peripherally, you can see this is how much space we have. So we know our nose wheels in line with probably right here. So. You start to learn these perception things as uh, you know you get used to the equipment. Yeah, Donkey Cargo One. We're back taxing. We're uh, in charge of the uh, emergency here. We're gonna be uh, putting the fire up. Donkey Cargo One, affirmative. We are have been waiting for you. You don't have any fire extinguishers there? No, no. We forgot all our fire extinguishers. Ah, uh, that's not helpful. Oh, well, I decided to bring some fuel with you too. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and we'll park up. All right, and we're going to buy this base as well. So we're in beta. Let's go ahead and set the parking brake, and we'll shut off 1 and 2. And we'll go ahead and we will shut off gem 1 and 2. We'll shut off battery A. We'll leave B on, and we'll stay powered. How's our batteries looking? Pretty good. Doesn't look like we're charging as well as I would like. All right, let's go ahead and get out. Put this fire out. Let's buy this base really quick. That was one of the things we wanted to do. What's up there, fellas? There we go. There's three grand. Do we have to uh, mission complete? So let's just put the fire up. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and probably should have taken a little picaroni when uh, the fire was going. Let's go ahead and shut the lights off. Let's grab a little um, screenshot here whilst we're here. And uh, what was I going to do? Uh, shut this landing light off. There we go. And let's see if I can't get a reasonable uh, pick for the old video. So it's nice to have uh, this base. I like this base a lot. There's not much utility with it where it is on this map, but, um, you know, it's still kind of a cool base, and I like having it. So, All right, so let's go ahead, and the diesel pump appears to be right here. So let's uh, – actually, let's put this away while we're here. I need to open the door anyway to uh, get it, so I might as well throw this fuel in here. The uh, fire extinguisher, rather, in there. I need to put that down in order to get the hose. So let's go pump in. And we will go ahead and start pumping in the diesel. And then we're also going to uh, pump jet. So we're going to give some of our fuel to the base here. Uh, also, I also think I'm going to plug in the electricity to my my um, my generator is not tuned correctly. So they're not uh, see how it's dragging. That's annoying. Uh, it's not tuned correctly, so I'm not getting the full. Uh, I'm not getting the full. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, recharge. I should be getting on my generators. So. All right. So we're gonna take some of the fuel here. I need to quickly monitor this. I don't want to give up too much of the fuel. Um, so why is that not going? Okay. So something's up with this system here. I have to check. I, I'm not able to donate this fuel here. Maybe fuel cutoffs? No. Okay. 
So I need to figure out why I can't um, I can't take off jet fuel. So, so a lot of planes you can't um, defuel pl certain planes. So it's not atypical, but I was kind of hoping this one I could. Let's see. We are we're getting all the jet fuel. It appears all oh, the diesel though. So that's fine. That was the main goal is to get the diesel here. Uh, let me see where we're at here. What I can do now is okay. So this is this is empty. What I can do is despawn it and actually put it in the base. Actually, I don't know if I can because this might be too big to do. I don't know if I can spawn this plane in this this hangar. This hangar is kind of on the small side. Let's see if I can grab it. Nope. Okay. Let's see if I can grab it really quick. So what I'll do is grab the... Okay, it's too large, so I'm not going to be able to put it in there. That's fine. Uh, still, it was worth bringing the diesel here. I thought I could offload it, but I, I guess I can't. I probably didn't set it up correctly to be able to offload the jet fuel. That's fine. Let's go ahead and see where we're at here mission-wise. Still don't have any missions I really want to do or can do right now. So let's go ahead and we'll do a quick save. And I will take a nap and I'll see you guys when we get a mission. All right, so we end up getting a pretty uh, interesting mission here. It seems, let me shut the door. I wasn't born in a barn here. Let's go ahead and shut that, shut that. Let's go ahead and one of them's door shot that. All right, and so let's look at the mission here. So we got a blue camping van in distress is requiring assistance for 5,000 buccaronis. So let's see if we have a torch here. You know, one of the reasons I wanted to make some stall aircraft short takeoff and landing is I really am not a huge fan of doing everything with helicopters. And so I wanted to be able to do it with planes. Let's quickly let this roll back a little bit here. I need to see uh, what was in there. Oh, okay, rope goes in there. I can't tell if I have a repair torch. We're going to need... Okay, I do right there. All right, so I have a repair torch, so we can go ahead and we can do this mission. So some of these stall aircraft, short takeoff and landing craft, I wanted because I want to be able to land them off field. And so that was important to me because then I can go do these missions without a helicopter. I can do them with a plane Oh, And so I prefer to do them with a plane if I can. So let's go ahead and we'll shut the fuel cutoffs, turn the fuel cutoffs on. Battery B can stay off right now. Let's crank. And you can't hear it because of the headset on the seat. There we go. Crank in two. All right, two is up, five thousand feet. Uh, what's I don't know what our heading is going to be taken off, but that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, we actually got a cool mission here. We're not going to be it disappeared already, but it was to rescue somebody from the trench. Uh, but you know I don't have a submarine set up really, and so I wasn't going to do that anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll taxi out here. So flaps to one for takeoff. We'll try not to run over any of these people. We're short takeoff and landing again, so we shouldn't have any problem. Shouldn't have any problem taking off uh, without having to go down the end of the runway. You could back taxi, which means you taxi down the runway and turn at the end, but we should be fine. Uh, again, this is a short takeoff and landing aircraft, so we should be able to take off on some of these short runways. So what do we use coming up here? Uh, about, I don't know, 1,900 pounds of fuel, so about half of that is liters. So, about maybe a little less than a thousand liters probably we used. Yeah, rotate. And you tap your brakes. See how I tap my brakes and stop the wheels? In real life, that it vibrates the hell out of you, and it's really annoying. So you would tap your brakes to stop the vibration of the wheels. All right, so go ahead and let's stick the autopilot on. Wow, it took over fast. <laughs> okay. I was in a big bank, and it was trying to just arrest the bank. All right, flaps coming up. And so we'll be there in 6.2 minutes, so not too bad. I'm just... Uh, 
bring the prop back. As you can see, my speed increase, and that's because I'm reducing the prop here and uh, getting us there. All right, so let's go ahead, and I will time lapse you guys out again. Alright, so uh, we're coming over the search area now. The game's looking super washed out. Let's see where we're at here. Fog. Fog is at zero. The game is so washed out. I I really wish we could dewash the game a little bit. It's just super duper washed out. It's like super hazy. You do get haziness, especially... Like, we used to get haziness in, like, Florida, areas where you have a lot of humidity. But um, this is pretty brutally hazy. Let's see. So we're looking for this van. So the van search... Area here is from pretty much the power plant just to the south here where this drilling area is and then all around there. So we're at a pretty good altitude to kind of spy it. We don't want to be super duper high because it makes it hard to spot. And so I'm just going to kind of turn off a little bit here. And if we look right there, we can see uh, we have this whole area on the uh, east side of the bridge. So I'm kind of looking over there as we're going. And I'm going to go ahead and start bringing the prop all the way back. That's going to slow our speed down. There's no point in cooking around really fast. The whole point is going to be searching. And we don't need to do like 900 turns around here. We want to kind of try to spot it ASAP. You know, so there's no point in going fast on your search pattern. It's, you know, you want to be able to look out. 
And so search pattern goes all the way just to about the south here. So what is that? A lot of the buffalo are actually a cool detail. You know, a lot of people have been asking for things like scrub brush, which I would agree with. You know, I think everything behind a you know, if you put everything in a checkbox and you give us the option to say, for example, turn on the underwater foliage, turn on above ground foliage, stuff like that. It allows us to make the game look how we want. I think, you know, a lot of people have been asking for like scrub brush and sagebrush and stuff like that to be in the desert biome to make it look a little bit better. But adding the buffalo here is really, I think, added a cool bit of detail out in this really kind of monochromatic land desert like see right there it's adding some good detail i would like scrub brush as well but i think that was a good step for that it seemed you know it was a kind of a small update to add some animals to the uh air biome but uh they do help break it up a little bit i do find so let's go ahead i have yet to see this van blue van uh we'll get the message too when we get close enough uh, right there bingo spot it Okay, so that's a blue van right there. We're going to go ahead and... I don't know where... The wind's pretty calm. So there's the blue van right on the water. And so I'm just kind of going across, and I'm looking at the terrain here. Because I need to figure out how I'm landing here. So we're going to go ahead and start putting the prop forward. In this airplane, it has a really low prop pitch on full forward, like it should be. So you look at the contour of that behind us, that is pretty steep. So I kind of want to come in next to this cliff face here and go up against the beach. So prop is coming full forward. Go ahead, start bringing our power back a little bit, not too fast. The throttle uh, here is a little bit more sensitive than I like. Let's go flaps full in. And part of the reason you want to get your flaps in early is to be able to trim up and be all trimmed and set by the time you uh, Get, you want to be stabilized on your approach. So we're going to come in here, start diving down. That's one of the reasons I didn't take the power off, as I expect I need to lose some altitude. So, you know, the more you fly, the more experience you have as a pilot. You start, you know, it, normally, you know, one of the things you do is you would start every time you need to make a pitch power or a configuration change, you need to trim. Well, you know that if you need to lose altitude, there's no point pulling, you know, um, you know, if you need to lose altitude, you're going to pitch your nose down and you're going to gain speed. So you need to kind of consider when you're going to put your flaps in, all these other things. So looking at the contour here, so we have a good, reasonably flat area here. We're going to come in and land, pitching the nose up, starting to bring the power back here. And I'm watching the contour very carefully here. There we go. We're touched down. Brakes, 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 brakes. And we should be in reverse. Uh, probably not yet. There we go. There's beta. And let's go ahead and stick the brake on. And we'll go ahead and shut down. And fuel cut off one. Let's go ahead. I never put battery A on, so that's fine. We'll leave that off. As you can see, that uh, we're a little bit low on battery. The generators aren't working correctly. I didn't turn them on, which would be why. Let's turn those on. So I didn't turn my generators on, so that was an oversight on my part. So let's go ahead and we'll drop the ramp. Let's get another pick here. I like having a lot of picks. It reminds me of my adventures. So let's uh, get one there. There we go. That's a better pick. So this is uh, so I, this is one of the reasons I like doing this is, you know, the game very much, I wouldn't say it forces helicopters on you, but there's so many situations where the helicopter is the meta, and I hate metas. I like to be a contrarian, and I also, I'm much prefer fixed wing wow look at the size of this van <laughs> i much prefer fixed wing than i do to to uh, helicopters to to uh, rotary craft and let me see blue uh requesting assistance one cow to the hospital so do i need to repair this or am i just taking you to the hospital dude i don't know i don't see yet it would tell me if i need to repair it i don't think i do no so it's just pick the person up okay you know, so this allows me to do things like bring airplanes everywhere, uh, make some stall aircraft, you know, short takeoff and landing aircraft. As you can see, it has oversized wheels. It's built to be rugged. Like the Ant-2 has really good suspension so that it can land off field a little bit better. This one has really good uh, slow speed capabilities and is able to take off of short runways. And so that is really helpful so that I can actually use some airplanes to do some of these missions that 
are generally reserved for helicopters. And so that's one of the reasons I did it. You know, it's another reason why I built the Seagull and have a seaplane is I wanted to be able to do some of these missions uh, and I don't have to take a helicopter every time. So that helps out. All right, so that's up and running. Starting two. Put a notch of flaps in. Up oh, uh, one stopped. I have it in RPM, so I have to kind of consider it in RPM. What's there? We go. That one just kicked off. Okay. Let's turn on that uh, generator. The generators were on. I turned them. Just turned them on. So you see, we have pretty low a battery on there. I need to fix that charging. That's why it's taking a little while to get these started. Is the battery's running low? So. There we go. So two is up. So where do we want to go here? We want to go to... We could go right here. Go to St. Alexander. So right over there. Uh, we'll just visually go from there. Let's go ahead and we'll release the brake. Generator's on. Uh, bat one is back on. And let's just look at the contour. As you see, just gentle slope down. So we should have no problem taking off here. But yeah, so by building all these short takeoff and landing craft, the reason I did it was just so that I could go do these missions, you know, it makes it fun to be able to do them. You know, the helicopters just get boring to me after a while. Oh, yep, helicopter, oh, yep, helicopter, oh, yep, let's do a helicopter, oh, yep. And then some of it, you know, I like that you can still do some fantasy stuff with the game, where it's not, like, hyper-realistic and it's not gatekeepy, you know, where... You know, if you want to do something like haul metal in a helicopter, which would be super impractical IRL, you can do it in-game if you want, you know, and so that's kind of fun, too. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get right set up here. Flaps are all the way down. I just left the prop. There's no point in me bringing the props back because they were coming in right for a landing here. But this is, you know, I, I prefer this to a helicopter. This takes a little bit more skill to have to land on the off field like this and you also have to you know part of its engineering too is you want to engineer it so that you're going to be able to get a slow enough speed because a big part of short takeoff and landing is the slower you can get your takeoff and approach speed the less time you need to spend on a rough rough ground that could be dangerous to be operating on so you want to you know limit that time you're on the ground and you want to get down as quickly as possible Let's see, set the brake. Let's go into beta. Beta is flat blades again. Let's shut down. I'll go infinite electricity if I need to, just because it's, um, you know, we're, we're just continually losing battery. It's just something, an oversight that I need to fix. You know, as you saw with the winch, it was just I forgot to hook up the electricity, so. Uh, let's grab another pick. Yeah. I just think it's kind of funny landing then on the helipad. All right, so as you can see, this is nice. It lands short, so it, it makes it viable to take some take some airplanes out and actually do some of these little missions here. All right, let's get going here. All right, nice. So that was that was all that we had to do there. We didn't have to repair it, so I wasn't sure if we we're gonna have to repair it or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I think that uh, was a fun episode. So we're getting back in here with the new save. Uh, it wasn't that hard to get it all set up. So we have a huge amount of fuel in the FJ bench. And as we move from base to base to base, we're gonna be able to uh, ferry that fuel around. And so as we get a mission, let's say we get a mission up near Dreamore, we'll bring some fuel with us. As we go over here, we'll bring some fuel with us and we'll try to ferry it pretty naturally. And that will uh, that will give us a, a reasonable opportunity to move that fuel around without having to expend a huge amount of time trying to move that fuel. So we'll kind of do it as we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.